Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel and Furthest Frontier as we continue the expansion of the Mountain Village. And we have begun the construction of our Palisade Wall, basically our first layer of defense against enemies. And who knows, I, like just looking at it, I am placing the Palisade far, far away or further away than I first imagined it to. I, I imagine that it will be it would have been this close, like so, and over here, somewhere like so, and somewhere here. I'm actually expanding it slightly further, which means that the stone wall or the next layer of defense will be even further than that. Which is unexpected, but I absolutely love it. If we can make the vi village function properly, basically. The products in the storehouses will be moved from one area to another in a very quick and efficient manner, then I would be super happy. I will be super happy with this game as a whole, not with the way I place the city, but with the game as an entire experience. We have a disease here, like what, what do you have exactly? You have cholera, which is an infection spread through the contaminated water. Okay, is there a lot of waste here? Yeah, generally speaking, that's when it would happen. Ensure that villagers have access to wells and waste is removed from houses. Yeah, so it's good that we put down this compost yard here. Uh, they will be cleaning up some stuff. We have a lot of food that just goes to waste. We really need those barrels. And I guess this is going to be the focus for today. We are at 126 and we need 150 village in order to upgrade our townhouse to the next level and actually get some advanced production going. Basically make a bunch of barrels which will help us overall. Uh, let's say that we do not want you to collect hay anymore. I will accept blacks going forward for now just because we have those production buildings closer. Like right here right we have the weavers so we want them to be here a villager has been cured that is great we have plenty of logs right now so I am thinking let's continue building this either that or we could go with the barracks how much gold do we have in our trading post we have 50 almost 1500 gold so I can place down the barracks right now Just to have it already in place and then I can start figuring out uh, where do I go with the palisade wall. I am thinking that we could have a few more buildings here. How much area does this barracks cover? It's like so. I guess I could go a bit further. I might place another tower somewhere here as I'm imagining it at the moment. But let's go a bit further. We'll do it like so. And like so, and we're going to have the gate here. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that idea. And we're gonna have a bit more space here, right? Perfect. And if we can place down the... The gate... However, the slope, it says the slope is too steep. Well... No worries, we can work on the land. I like the fact that we can still work on the land even though it has a road on it. And we'll place a gate there. That is going to have to be enough for the moment. We're not going to go even further. And I need... I need to make sure that we have 150 places. Uh, 150 spaces for people. So what are we going to do? I'm thinking that I could place, and it would be a good idea because it's high on desirability, I am going to be placing three more houses like so. We're gonna drag a road here, we're gonna leave that space for another garden. And the shelter, I believe, offers only four spaces, right? So that's another 12 there, We're, we'd be at 150. I want to have a few more. Maybe prepare the train for here. Uh, let's see. It's still not straight. So I'm gonna go like... 
Let's go like so. How much stone do we have here? There's not a whole lot more. So let's remove this, actually, and, uh, and do a flattening of this entire area. Good. Our barracks is here. Let's change... We'll change the company banner. To what? So this will be... We call them the White Wolves. Let's call these ones the Black Wolves. And let's give it a proper banner. Something with red and black if possible. Doesn't seem like that's a possibility, but I guess I'm gonna go with something like this, right? I believe that that looks good. Okay. We lost a lot of hay from spoilage. Yeah. I guess there's a limit to it, right? We're gonna be producing hay next year, so we're gonna be fine on that side. How are our people doing? 56, 57 percent, okay. And they are okay, as far as food goes and stuff. Yeah, they still have plenty of food with them. This one has only two berries, so... Mm, and worn shoes, so maybe I'm not gonna keep them around for longer. As soon as that relic is collected, we're gonna send them home, allow them to resupply, and then we're gonna go for the next relic. Yeah, look at that. Look at the amount of firewood that we have at the moment. We definitely need a lot, another one of these firewood makers. Start producing goods. If we find another good relic, we're going to throw in another preacher. So we will need 200 planks. Which we are very close by. We have enough clay. Just need a bunch of ingots. Which we do have. If we transfer from the trading post, we have more than enough. Lone laborers, I can see that. Let's take a look through the buildings just to see what we are working with. Maybe I've forgotten some of them. A healer's house we have. The school we have. The festival pole, I didn't need it at the moment. Another rat catch. It might not be a bad idea to think about another rat catcher. Some of these houses are not covered. So if I go here, for example, and we place it like so, that would protect our houses from rats. It would have a very low chance to... Whoa, I, is it infe infest? Yeah. To infest houses, like this one is outside of range, so there is a chance that rats will appear here. But I feel like covering most of your houses just drastically decreases the chances that something bad might happen. This temporary shelter, we're not gonna get it at the moment, but I think we're gonna get some fishing going soon. And I'm thinking that that's when we're going to need it. Dockyard, wagon shop. Villagers have finished excavating an ancient ruin. A new wilds relic has been acquired. Food spawns 25% slower. Thank you. Thank you. That is great. That is so necessary at the moment. Okay, you go back home.
And apparently we can now harvest the resources from the ruin. We can harvest it for stone. It's like going to, to Rome. Where you have all of these ancient... The ancient Roman cities were pretty much scrapped down for stone and used for new buildings. Which, you know, in ancient times, right, or medieval times, people didn't look like at those old buildings and said, ooh, that's history. They looked at it and saw resources very close to home. And so they used old stone, marble and all that in order to construct new churches and things like that. Very interesting view as an interesting view of history and how people saw things. A barn I do not need. A, chi a chicken coop could be interesting. Chicken must be purchased from a visit. I haven't seen. I haven't seen a trader selling chickens yet. But the chicken coop might be valuable. I could even have it use the fence that there's it's present now and just expand it over here, put a chicken coop. That could be That could be the right uh, although that, I, that might not be bad, but I'm not sure exactly how much space does a chicken coop require. Let us say... Like we have a road here, right? Now, if I'm looking at the chicken coop... It definitely needs fencing. Like, no matter how I look at it, it definitely needs fencing. And apparently there's a lot to eat in this area. Or the chickens. We might... Weirdly enough, I might want to start placing this particular building outside the city right, outside the city walls like put it here have the chickens eat over here or have it here but that would still be outside the city <laughs> how come I have covered this entire area with some other I, like I didn't think that this was our entire fodder area I'll have can I restart the map yes I could do a restart of the map maybe I'll do it at some point and just to check this area out to see if I could tell it tell the difference from the grass right like this is there's not a lot of fodder here because it's, I don't know, maybe more brownish or grayish like stone. But here would be very fertile, so it's very green. Stuff like that, maybe? I'm just trying to figure out whether I could have seen it. Because this will matter for future cities. A stable for lancers and all that. I don't think we will be building a stable yet. I think that would be a waste. We've got everything else from this side. I do not want a potter. On the defensive side, yeah, walls. On roads and fencing, hedge fence gate. A hedge gate that allows friendly forces to enter and exit village freely, but closes to keep enemies out. Okay. A hedge fence can keep animals away from crops or predators away from livestock. Cost at 5 meters length per fence. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Is this like this is like a beautified type of fence, right? It's not 
I, I think he, the developer, like if I had to try to get into the mind of the developer, you are upgrading your city. It's looking really awesome. It will, the roads will be paved. Your houses will have like this uh, brick exterior, right? Brick walls and you will have like this very modern, medieval modern renaissance type city. You, you'll have your gardens, which will look absolutely beautiful, and then you have these wooden fences. Because that's how you built your city. So, I am thinking that the way they thought about it is, okay, well, you do that, but you can upgrade this to a hedge fence, or you can even get a wrought iron fence all around your village uh, to, to make it look beautiful, right? Pa as part of a city. I think that that is the case. If I am just trying to brainstorm here for a bit I can't really read minds and even if I could read minds I'm guessing I can't read minds from a distance you don't really hear that right the idea of if you had the power to read minds you do you have to see those people or could you read it from a distance and I think everybody thinks about it read the mind of the person in front of you close by Yeah, I think we're doing well overall. Another animal has been born. Perfect. We have five goats at this moment. That makes me really happy. Really happy that finally we got there. For this trader, what do you want? Pelts? You buy pelts at a high price, but I still want to turn this into finished goods. I could sell the hides. Or the hide coats. It doesn't buy it for a high price, so... <laughs> Soap, you offer us a very good price, so let's sell 20. Planks, you buy at a very low price and I don't want it. You sell linen clothes at a very cheap price. Hopefully we'll get another trader and maybe we can make some... Like, if he, someone buys linen clothes at a very high price, I can get this. And we could get a few bricks as well. I said that I wanted to upgrade this warehouse, right? But it would require a town center at level 3. Well, let's say I'm gonna get the needed people in a immigration wave. Let's say. Who knows? There is a chance that that will happen. I, if I keep 50 bricks in the storage, then I can at least upgrade this storehouse as soon as this one is done, right? Yeah, it will require gold and all that, but I think we can do it. So let's see, if I want to buy bricks. We'll save 50. Buy and transfer. Well, in order to make up for that, let's sell, let's say, 50 of our hide clothes to this guy. And maybe if we get another trader, we're going to sell more to that person. We shall see. Uh, do we see any trader cards? At least I don't see them at the moment. Raiders are approaching. Raiders are approaching from two sides. How do I want to do this? These guys will be coming through here, so I feel like I'm slightly defended. Over on this side, I am not. Let's take our warriors out. And maybe it's about time to even split the company? And these raiders have arrived. These raiders have arrived from an area without any sort of... Raider encampment. So they don't need raider encampments in order for them to, to attack us. Let's go aggressive here. Villagers, you retreat please and thank you. Let's select the archers. And we're gonna shoot at people with oh, defense. Nice, one shot, one kill. You go there.
nice. Let's see, where are the rest of the raiders? One of them is here. Trying to pillage our armory, so let's take her down with our archers. And we'll bring the infantry on this side. Do we need to upgrade this further? I don't see it at the moment. I don't see us needing it. We are using plenty of the raw materials. But we will need some defenses on this side as well. Archers. Let's start shooting at their archers, please. Great. So that's about it. Took a tiny bit of damage, but we're fine. Don't let him ex there it is raid has been over they have attacked us with 12 troops so we are slightly vulnerable here we will need a tower warriors you go back home for now heal up rest up and then I'll take you downwards towards the next relic We could speed up. Yeah, we'll need to focus on adding more soldiers to these barracks as well, because if we get attacked from two different directions, then that is going to be a bit more difficult. The building storage is full. And there's still base here, but I guess we don't have enough laborers to go around and deliver all of the goods. Does it say here, yeah, at least 15 builders we would need, uh, 15 laborers for good efficiency. Let's see now in the trading post. So, tell me that you buy clothes, you do not. What do you want? You want shoes at a very good price, so let's do that. I'm not gonna sell the leather, that's 9 for that price. We could sell some candles at, once again, a very good price. Some gold nuggets and we'll just sell it because it's there. Could we sell a relic? No, so we cannot actually sell relics. With you, I guess I'm going to sell the coats. I think I really want to buy these clothes here. As... Well... As many of them as possible. I think I want to keep the gold in order to upgrade. But at this point we're at 3000. Buying clothes. Clothes don't... Lose value. And if I buy like a hundred and fifty of them. At thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred, let's put a fourteen hundred number on it. Because I really feel that with the first merchant that comes around. And wants to buy those clothes at a high price, I think we're gonna get rich. I think. Let's see, 800, this is another 1000. So we're on 2300, it's not a lot. I'm gonna transfer a few more hide clothes, let's say 30. Because I want to have some extra gold, just in case. There we go. We'll sell the hide clothes here. Now we're at almost 1500 and with that there, we should be able to upgrade this building whenever we have the right population. A bit of spoilage there, but other than that we're good. I think our warriors... 
did we lose a warrior? Did, didn't we have seven in total? No, I haven't seen anyone die, so I'm guessing I just misremembered it. Let's bring our soldiers here. Let's have someone work this excavation site. Because who knows what relic we might find. If I had to replace something, I am guessing I'm just gonna replace this birth rate and health of villagers. And if I wanted to place another gold farm, yeah, we would still have to go outside the walls. So maybe flatten out this area, put a chicken coop, put a goat farm, or even expand right now. Expand the fence like so. Go and go to the left there. Right? Bring it downwards and go to the left from this perspective. I think I like that idea. I think it works. But we don't have a whole lot of logs left. I'm just gonna let our people work and cut some trees down. Maybe even put some of our laborers at work. Like do this. Gather the ones that are close by. It's always helpful. These ones as well. You can gather those stones. I, uh, do we have... We still have plenty of stones. Already have builders at the excavation site, which is great. The building is on fire. We do have a well nearby, so that should be fine. More people... Okay. I, I was worried that people here weren't really rushing to turn out the fire, to put out the fire, but it happened in the end. Come on, give me an immigration site. Like, like, I really want a big wave of immigrants so that I could just straight up upgrade this. How are we doing on the peach trees? So they still have quite a bit of life left. 140 months. With this barracks, I'll leave it as it is. Yeah, I've seen that cart just get out and disappear. So I guess it's not going to the edge of the map or anything. Twenty-nine on that side. I'm not gonna move any workers. Is this number the amount of available workers? Yeah. What else does it say here? So, too few laborers will slow building and resource gathering. So they're still, the builders are still considered part of the laborers. Raiders are approaching. And they are going towards the ruins. So it is a sort of a triggerable event. It's not happening 100% of the time, which is good. But it does happen. Uh, can I not turn these soldiers around? Ah. Okay, so hold down control, and that will turn them around.
archers. Uh, let me slow this down for a second. Just to make sure I'm not gonna make any mistake. 11 people have immigrated. It's still not 150. But we're getting there. Collect all military. Let's get them here. So we got some migration there. <laughs> I would have wished that we got the entire number. But 11, those extra 11 people are not bad. Still good. And if I'm thinking about putting down a few more houses... We could do it here. One, we'll say two here, but they're still in the way, so we cannot build it yet. And three. And then I'm gonna have some on this other side as well. And finally we'll flatten this area. Actually, no, there's a well there, so I guess we cannot flatten that, but we can flatten this. And probably have at least one more house or some sort of business. Speaking of which, I'm guessing that this this territory right here is in the same situation. So maybe flattening it wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's just take a look. I would love if we could pan the camera down just a bit more. I know there's probably no sky in the development of this game, but can you imagine just Panning it down just more, a little bit more, a little bit more so that we could see what's behind here. Because I feel like this looks absolutely beautiful. Come on. Excavate this. Ah, it's still a, a while away. And I guess unfortunately this is all the time that we have for today. I really hate how time flies when, when we're playing this, but... During the next episode, we're definitely upgrading the town center. We're going to be taking our village to the next level. We're going to leave. I guess we could consider it a town at some point. In our imagination, I don't think it really matters. Or do we consider it a town when we have the palisade built around the entire area? And we start producing some of those advanced goods. I don't know. Let me know what you have in mind. Still. Thank you very much for watching, hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow as we continue our journey. Until then, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.